Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing my October favorites. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the new Anastasia palette by Mario. I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing a few shades right now. But this is what it looks like. I really like this palette because it's like so nude you can go from daytime to nighttime i wear this almost every single day it's just so pretty like i have more information and details on my blog so you can check it out the link will be in the description bar so this month i've really been enjoying anastasia and makeup geeks matte and shimmer shades they're so pretty they are good for everyday use. I use them literally every day, if not when I'm reaching for other palettes. But this is always my go-to. Super neutral. I have been loving this so much. This uh, Makeup Forever Pro, Pro Light Fusion Highlighter in the shade 2 Golden. It's like... Yes! Just shining. Oh, beautiful. I have it on my cheeks right now. But it's nice, it's golden, it's so pretty. The one thing I don't like about this is that you, you really have to dig into the product. Like you just like gotta dig your brush in like really hard. Um, I feel like it's better to use like a synthetic brush. Recently, I've been loving the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. It's just been my perfect shade match right now since I have gotten tanner over the past month. It really has a beautiful finish. I love everything about it. I have gotten back into doing my nails again and I have rediscovered some of my favorite nail polishes. My favorite brand hands down it has to be Sinful Colors because it's super affordable. It's about $2.99. You can get it cheaper if you have a coupon or it's on sale at the grocery store. But these shades are so pretty. This glitter one is called Queen of Beauty. It's gorgeous. This one right here is called Let Me It's called Let Me Go and it's a beautiful like triple I don't know it has three to like three colors in it which is amazing it looks like a rainbow and the last one is called supernova and it's just a really pretty rose gold color and the last one it's not from simple colors but it is from OPI and it's in the shade rose of light and I like to pair it up with Supernova so it gets like a really nice, pretty, rose golden, glittery finish. I battle with acne. Um, recently it hasn't been as bad as it used to, but here and there I get a few blemishes. Um, earlier this week, I actually got a pimple, I think. I got a pimple right here. It was big and red like two days ago. So, like, I was just doing my makeup, and I thought, hey, might as well put this on top of it, see what it does. And this is the uh, A Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. Um, it's supposed to be used for, like, rosacea and, like, red marks on your face. So, I just said, oh, well, like, might as well see how it does on pimples. And I, I kid you not, like, the pimple, like... I'm, I'm not sure if you can even see it like it's like flat it does dry out your face a bit but it works for me and it, and it gets rid of my blemishes really quickly and I just love this like this is always gonna stay in my little collection like this is expensive like $40 for this jar I've been loving this foundation brush from a cosmetics for Ulta it is their I don't know I don't know it's kind of rubbed up but it's their airbrush it's their airbrush buffing foundation the number 1110 110 I love it I use this every single day it's very much dense like it just smooths foundation so nicely, I can't even. Whenever I do get oily throughout the day, I like to blot myself. And I preferably would like to use this one if I have it on hand. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press. It's not really translucent, but it's it kind of has like a pale yellow tone to it. So that's what I like. And 
I like that it doesn't leave a white cast on your face. So this is great. The best, hands down. The Urban Decay Beach Bronzer has been my favorite for like since summer. It is so pretty. It gives me all the warmth that I need in my face because I like to bronze, not really contour. That's just my style, but it's just so pretty. I when I swatched this, I didn't think that like I, it would like look good on me, but I ended up loving it, loving it. And as you can see, like I've I've hit pan like hard. It is so pretty, so warm. I wear it every single day. Let it read up look. So I'm really lazy when it comes to washing my brushes. Like I know you're supposed to be like deep cleaning them once a week. I don't. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I just get lazy and decide not to. So I found this brush cleanser at Ulta and I have used this before. I love it. You spray it on your brush about two times and you're good. And you swirl it on a towel and it gets a majority of all the makeup out of your brushes. This is good. This is real good. You need to buy it. I promise you. You need to buy it. You won't be sorry. Last but not least would have to be this body lotion by Soap and Glory. It is their Sugar Crush. I love this scent so much. It smells like limes. I think it's, it smells like lemons and limes. I just, I love this. Like, I like to use this when I freshly get out the shower and just rub it all over my body because it just smells so good. Like... I would like, like, if I could eat this in a dessert, I would, but I can't. Yeah, so that was all of my favorites, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel.